What is going on guys? It is your boy RSR from RSR Collections and with all honesty I have no idea if this is even going to make it up depending on um, the value of today's uh, hunt but uh, guys we are finally crossed the border after three years, three-ish years. We are in Grand Forks, North Dakota, US <laughs> in that order. Uh, whatever man. Uh, anyways so guys uh, the game is on, the hunt is on. We're uh, going to hit up Targets, we're going to hit up Walmarts, we're going to hit up uh, anything we can. FYEs, Barnes & Nobles, uh, Toys R Us is no longer a thing here. GameStops even, right? See what kind of, uh, preferably Yu-Gi-Oh, but not opposed to Pokemon packs. Uh, we already did our first stop at Target. You're pulling, oh, you do see in the background there. Um, they had like your typical stuff that uh, I guess all the American content creators uh, show off in the Target displays, but we did find some pretty sick Funkos. I'll have a little like, um, you know, like um, photos or something in the background while I ramble here. But guys, the hunt is on. Let's keep going. Let's keep, you know, driving and see what we can find. All right. Hit my music. It's, it's been a bust today, man. Like, Walgreens, man, you let me down. I'm trying to buy some Hot Wheels. It's not stocked in, can't even buy them. Uh, Barnes & Noble, you let me down, you guys got nothing. Um, <laughs> like, West Acres Mall was great. I couldn't really vlog in there just because of like how um, just how busy it was. There's like no room. My, my hands were full. I couldn't even, like, I could barely hold my bags. Uh, we're in Fargo right now. Uh, guys, we were just in Grand Forks. We're in Fargo, as you can tell, there was a Target. Yeah, there you go. We were just here at Target. Uh, a lot of success with figure hunting, though, that's for sure. But just, it's it's brutal. It's very, very brutal for sealed product right now. It's no different than what we have on our shelves. But, um, guys, it is what it is. Hopefully, Walmart can save us. Uh, when we get home, if this even makes it online, because I don't know. I really don't know at this point. It's been a bust. We'll try and... Uh, We'll, we'll make a rant. We'll, we'll we'll do a full breakdown. Maybe we'll cover what I got. Uh, there is some Yu-Gi-Oh products related to it, but just not sealed product. That makes sense. And uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. We'll see where we end up. Peace. All right, guys. So obviously, as you can tell by the setup, we finally made it home from our trip across the United States border into Fargo and Grand Forks. And guys, honestly, in terms of a um, of a figure hunt, we are super duper successful. With all honesty, like. I might have something lying around here that I grabbed, such as, give me one sec, hold up, hold up, such as, I don't think I can fit this in the frame, but the Stacy Keebler WWE Elite figure, sorry guys, I, as much as I would love to show off this in a full, I just don't have the space basically from where the camera's angled, but yeah, could you imagine this is Stacy Keebler, arguably one of the best like WWE uh, women uh, superstars of all time, if you will, uh, hmm. uh, could you imagine this is her first time? Like her first action figure. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. And then we also got personally one of my favorites here, guys. One of my favorites, guys. Evolution is a mystery. And the reason why I say that reference for any of you WWE fans out there is because we found the animal Batista, guys. This is I'm pretty sure, yeah, I mean, that's a ruthless aggression. This is exactly um yeah, this is exactly how he looked back in his evolution days, guys. Uh, for again, any wrestling fans, if you got if you got these references, amazing. If not, well, the toy hunt again. I went for a toy hunt and I was successful. Apparently, these are Walmart exclusives too. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, when it came to the Yu-Gi-Oh hunt, a total bust. Um, we didn't walk away empty-handed though. Like obviously, I still grabbed some of the newer stuff. Uh, for example. I grabbed one Power of the Elements pack, <laughs> just because, like, again, okay, I don't want to go away empty-handed, empty-handed, empty-handed. Um, with that being said, I was pulling off on some of these, so I did have a couple more from GameStop, guys. Just a matter of when I wanted to use these for a video. Um, but yeah, like, Power of the Elements clearly is one of my favorite sets of all times, um, especially because we pulled two Starlight rares 
unfortunately was off camera. I'll have a photo of it somewhere though, along with the rest of my pulls. But this is one of my my second Starlight Red I've ever pulled. Exosister Martha. Look how gorgeous that card is, guys. It's just a shame that it was off camera. Like that's that's the only thing I will say is it's a shame that it was off camera. But I I bought two of these packs at GameStop, cracked one open, or cracked both open, obviously, and then bam, you know, Exosister Martha. I was not expecting that. And then guys, yeah, the Starlight Rare, as, you, as uh, I'll repost the photo here, but it was actually uh, Ultimate Slayer, uh, which funny enough, I pulled out of six packs. I also had the Secret Rare version of Ultimate Slayer, as well as uh, Sprite Blue. Uh, the cut, it, like the borders on that card were just awful. And there was a factory cutting errors on it, and yeah, it was just a mess. Like, it was like, because of how it was pulled, it was already like a mod play card in my opinion, but you know, it is what it is. But guys, uh, let's get to it, guys. We got six Power the Elements packs. A uh, buddy of mine, shout out to his name is uh, Gaber, Gabriel. Um, he went to Edmonton, guys, and pulled through for your boy, RSR. Uh, and we got some special editions from Coin and Stamp. So we got Order of Chaos as well as Circuit Break. Yeah! Circuit Break, per obviously, if we could pull a Sphere Mode, that would be great. And we basically make our monies back. Uh, but guys, evenly matched is what I'm after in this, um, in this special ed. Order of Chaos, I mean, if we could pull a Valor, great. I mean, that's half of our money back, give or takes. But, uh, guys, you can still pull a Ghost Rare in here. Not worth a lot, but you can still pull a Ghost Rare in Order of Chaos. So, that'd be kind of nice. Or an Ultimate Rare would be kind of nice, too. And then the last thing I'll kind of show off here that is a figure, but also Yu-Gi-Oh! related. I found this for me and the boys, guys. A Blue Eyes Toon Dragon Funko GameStop exclusive Pop and T bundle, guys. So... This was amazing, the fact that these guys just had it out there. Like, GameStop just had it sitting, like, on top shelf. And, like, if I didn't look up, 1,000% would have found this. But, it, like, what perfect timing, guys. Like, this was, like, just right after I came off of my uh, my high on uh, Starlight Rare Pools. <laughs> um, so, again, when I'm saying, when it came to figures, like, I legitimately had, like, a great time. Like, it, the hunt would have been great. It was really tough to vlog, though, because I started getting crowded and, like, yeah, like, it just started getting crowded as the day progressed. I'm just gonna start cracking packs open here. And, um, yeah, it was just, like, it just got super loud. Like, it was just way too loud. It got crowded. It was Labor Day weekend. Um, and also, too, like, obviously my hands are full because I, uh, like, I'm shopping around, too, right? So, um, <laughs> there's also that. But, um, yeah, like, other than that, I did go to an actual, um, uh, card shop in Fargo, too, but... Oh, I see something in the bend. I think we have a Starlight... No, I don't want to get my hopes up, actually. Probably Soma, Mary Melfi's, Chilman's Hanvis, Overfusion, uh, Essentially the Gaudy, Melfi Wally, and it, oh, it's a secret rare, okay, Drake, Draco Utopia Aura, one of the more uh, useless secret rares <laughs> in this set. All right, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep Exosystem Martha in the background here for some good luck, guys. Hopefully we can, uh, we can pull another Starlight. I doubt it, but you never know. It'd be crazy though if I could pull, um, either Aza. Uh, she's the last Starlight I need to pull. Well, that's a lie. That and DPE. But, um, yeah, no, I, I doubt it. I don't even think there's last. I think there's a total of five Starlights. Was there not? Four or five? Probably five. Uh, but yeah, guys, I went to, like, a, a card shop in the basement of West Acres Mall in Fargo. And, uh, it's kind of, I like the setup, though. It's kind of cool how, like, you have to go, like, downstairs. Um... And then, boom, like, there's the storefront kind of thing. Like, it's, like, double the size, maybe even close to triple the size of, like, my of my locals. Like, maybe, like, yeah, of my locals. Like, the game room is, like, the, is like the same, like, surface area, I guess, or square feet as um, as my local card shops, guys. Like, when that includes their game room, too. So, it's kind of wild to me. Revenous Vendred, Karasoma, and a super rare Grand Tusk Dragon, guys. Yeah. No, I, I doubt it. I'm not, I'm not going to get my hopes up for this just because there's no way I'm going to pull another Starlight Rare out of these blisters. But guys, for those that say Starlight blisters are messed, nah, fam. <laughs> I proved that system wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, anyways, guys. Um, yeah, I had a great time at Target. Uh, funny enough, right? Uh, Target, Walmarts. Uh, we went to a Barnes & Noble. Pretty disappointing, as you could tell from earlier. Uh, went to a Walgreens, absolutely nothing. Uh, what else have we got here? Engage namespace. Yeah, like, I think we're off our high already, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I went to Walgreens, absolutely nothing, which is a shame. Uh, but what do I, yeah, it is what it is, like, what can I expect? 
Um, I tried to buy Hot Wheels, and they had like this really nice like R35 GTR Hot Wheels. Nothing crazy though. Like I'm sure I could maybe I could find it somewhere. And they wouldn't let me buy it because it wasn't scanning in their systems. And they're like, yeah, no, sorry, we can't even sell it to you because we don't have a price. And I'm just like, well, you know, like, why do you have it on the pegs then? You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh, whatever. It is what it is, guys. And an ultra rare, here we go, Therion Irregular. I'd imagine this is one of the lower end ultra rares, though. I have to guess. So we got, we opened four blisters, guys, out of six, and we got a secret, an ultra, and two supers. So at least ratio wise, not too bad. We'll start off with Order of Chaos, though, actually. Um, yeah, no, like, um, guys, the reason why, uh, I guess, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but the reason why I don't have that Starlight Ultimate Slayer on me right now is because I actually traded it away. That is right. Um, if, oh, I think that's Valor. I see the light attribute. Bam, there you go. We got another hollow effect, Valor. Let's go. Could you imagine how old, like, how old this card is? Like, in terms of, like, the, pr like, the printing? Like, Order of Chaos didn't seem that long ago, but meanwhile, like, I was still, like, in middle school, I believe, in the second round. Maybe middle school, I don't know. Probably middle school. Not bad, though. Preserved it very well all these years. Alright. Who knows, maybe the packs me from Edmonton, where you'll get an ulti or a ghost rare. If I'm not mistaken, there was an alternate arch, number 34 terabyte, I believe, in the set? These were other packs. We got Igzy Burst, Evil Swords, I remember that. Armor Ninja, Ninjutsu, Art of Freezing, Aqua Armor Ninja, Rare Evo Instant, and I think that's it. You weren't guaranteed a rare and a holo card. But these packs are still pretty, uh. Yeah, no, like this is one of the, like, the, I think this is like, this set was like my second booster box ever, give or take. That or I ended up splitting it with uh, one of my buddies. Oh, that's funny. I accidentally moved the super rare to the front. My bad, so it's three. But it's extra horny, guys! We got a hollow! Yay! Good times! All around! It's, 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 no, I'm just kidding. Before strike, and our guy got bold. So, guaranteed a rare card, just not guaranteed a hollow. That's right. And our last pack, guys. Can we get last pack magic? At least we got a hollow, though. It was very well known that back then, when you got these special editions, like, you would strike out on all three packs. <laughs> right. A one, a two, and a three. Okay. We got Newman Arat Testudo, Degen Force, Photon Crusher, Zen Maelstrom, Mailer Possessed Dark, nice. That's nostalgic. Ish. Vampire Koala, Photon Leo, Zector Hopper, and a ultra rare number 12 Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. Not bad. I mean, there's no value for the most part, but like, the fact that we got an Ultra and a Super inside a Special Ed, not bad. This was back in the day, this actually, we probably could've made our money back, who knows? <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, okay. Should we, we'll do Circuit Break. We'll do Circuit Break, we'll leave one pack left of it, and then we'll go into our last two blisters of Power of the Elements, and then we'll finish it off. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> alright. Who do we get? If we get Sphere Mode, that would be great. Oh yeah, there's two promo cards. Ah, okay, Lockout Garden. No, we didn't get Sphere Mode. We didn't get Sphere Mode, because I see the Synchro. Darn it. Okay, so it was, if we look at the back of the box, no, wrong box. Damn, I really hoped it was Sphere Mode. It was the Synchro Sphere Mode. What a shame. What a shame. So no value was made back on our promos. That's okay. At least we got Valor on our uh, on our Order of Chaos and got a few bucks back. It'd be funny though if uh, <laughs> if we pulled uh, the Wind Dragon Rod of Order of Chaos and then Sphere Mode out of uh, Circuit Break. For a, like this is a good price though, in my opinion. Like, pardon me here. I think it was like 18, was it eighteen bucks? Nineteen bucks for um, for a special edit of, of Circuit Break. Considering how you can get evenly matched in Sphere Mode, like not bad. Luna Lights, Mister Boy. <laughs> And a super rare subterror sub be behemoth phoenix. And our rare was our dragonoid generator. And the rest were comments, guys. And the lights. Uh, I don't think I opened a lot of circuit break, actually. I don't really think about it. Alright, guys, we'll do one more pack. It blows my mind how much room is in between the, the, like, the cards inside the pack, actually. Crawler Renevere, Renevere, Temple of the Mind's Eye. 
Defect Compiler, FA Offro Grand Prix, FA Turbocharger, nice noise. Amazon a Spy, um, Amano Iwato, and a super rare Metaface Ragnarok, and a rare was a uh, Metaface Tiant Brain. So two supers and a rare. Not bad. Not bad at all. For ratio, that is. Value, probably nothing. All right, guys. Second to last blister of Power of the Elements. Can we pull another Starlight? Or can we pull the Tier Elements Field Spin? Or can we pull a Sprite Blue? You know, like, the possibilities are just endless. <laughs> oh. I don't know when this video is gonna drop. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna purposely drop it before Mega Teen release because I just got word from my locals, or at least one of them, uh, Galaxy Comics. They are not. They are most likely not getting the tin on time. So gonna have to, you know, gonna have to do some instead. So why not, uh, you know, make this video now and maybe upload it around the time of release date. Brandon and Central Dog Navigator, because you know, Mokimokis. It's a shame. Crosskeeper, let's go, baby. And Vanguard of the Underground Emperor and an engage in this place in the garbage. Holy Angelina Jolie. Once again guys, I did nah, I think our I think our our runs are over guys. It was a good run, you know what I'm saying? Like it was a good run. We were on a good uh good high i just wish you guys were there to uh to witness it unfortunately it was off camera in my room by myself <laughs> i'm just making myself so lonely <laughs> what just kidding who's lonely <laughs> double dust tornado terrors of the overroots pit night early cross keeper vanguard most distant deepest of deaths maze attraction thrill rail thrill train and ah toyota corolla Oh, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that That was it. That was all of our packs. I don't think I have any products I'm hesitant on opening, or do I? Um, maybe, maybe so. Hold on here, g g give me, just give me one moment here. Just, just give me one moment. All right, and we're back. Burst of Destiny, Power of the Elements. Let's go, we ain't stopping. I raided the Shopper's Drug Mart for these Burst of Destiny packs. <laughs> You know, given that I'm going to Toronto, I'm sure I can find them out there, so I ain't too stressed on the, not being able to replace this in the sealed collection. I'll only have to, I just have to get in pack form, but that's perfectly fine. Guys, Starlight Stratos, I want it. I want it. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna be so mad if that's the holo card. Okay, I want it. Brave Drive, Flunderies and Steery, Starry Night Orbital, Penguin Ninja, Mimic Man Eater Bug, Penguin Celeric. Sonic Ross Boy, uh, Giant Starfall, Cindy Starfall, come on, let's do it. And a Sword Soul, Auspice, Chunjo. Sad life, guys. Same word life right now, guys. This is, this is the sad life. All right, last pack of Power of the Elements. This one was a true loose pack, not a blister. I doubt it, but you never know. You never know. Now, I'm sure there's supposed to be pack thickness. I don't think we're gonna get it here. Mary Melty is gone. No, how bad is the ocean? Why? Why must the good not be good? <laughs> you know what, guys? We're going all out. Uh, grand creators. I've been holding on this one for a while now, too. I think this is part of my sixth collection, but given that I could still find literally grand creators almost anywhere and everywhere, I figured why not? I, these are all things I could definitely replace for the most part. <laughs> Come on, this is supposed to make my Yu-Gi-Oh hunt like almost um, you know, it's just supposed to save the Yu-Gi-Oh hunt. Yogi Pole, Injector Dragonfly, I know I think that's GG's, right? Irene. Yep, that was GG's. Injector Dragonfly. Hey, what do you know? We opened Order of Chaos 2 in this video. Alright guys, that is uh, that is truly GG's in the chat. We're done. We're not opening anymore. <laughs> oh, that that's a shame, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah guys. Nope. Again, it was great to cross the border for the first time after how many years? Again, we went on an amazing figure and toy hunt. It's just a shame that we couldn't bring back any interesting sealed product. Before I call this I call this video off, guys. Give me, give me one sec. I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you that I traded my ultimate... Sorry. My ultimate Slayer Starlight Rare for... 
an ulti rare masked hero dark law that is right from OTS one guys now here's the catch i know this how expensive this card is i know how expensive this card is the catch and i'm pretty sure for those that can actually focus on this card properly or can catch it right away is there's like an indent well not really an indent it's more just on the surface uh of like the shape of a sesame seed <laughs> give or take it doesn't bleed through. Um, it doesn't bleed through. I'll probably post pictures of what. Actually, shout out to Matt Matthew from Galaxy Comics. Um, he's the one that proposed the trade. I lingered about it, but I'm like, you know what? When's the next time I'm gonna come across a ulti rare Master Dark Law? So I figured, let's do it. But yeah, so guys, I traded my Ultimate Slayer Starlight for this Master Dark Law. I, in my opinion, I think it was worth it. If you thought so too, or maybe you didn't. You know, maybe put a comment. Put a comment and let me know as to the why it was worth it or why it wasn't. You know, or if you don't care, then that's fine. Just give me a like on the video. <laughs> but on the real guys, like this is a like. How often am I gonna find an OP Dark Law just like chilling locally, unless I go on TCG Player? But I thought it was pretty worth it. At least now I could say like one of the Starlight rares I pulled will just still be sitting in my collection. And then yeah, this I will actually play because of yeah. And it's playable. The good stuff, it doesn't bleed through. So, I talked to uh, Matthew. Talked to a couple of judges, and they said that it would pass. So, we good. We Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's it, guys. Just wanted to quickly recap. You know, the trip in a way. Open some packs for you guys. It might have been disappointing, as you can tell by the polls. But hey, at least now you know. I finally pulled my first Starlight Rare. Just off camera. We just gotta do better next time on the next big set. Traded one of the Starlights for a Dark Law, and that's about it, guys. I am chasing a Starlight Rare Stratos. DP, I don't care too much for Stratos would be nice, but it is what it is. We are, we're not gonna get. It, let's be honest. Oh wait, that's still full. That's still full. Can we get? And evenly matched. The pack feels heavy. They could be lying to me. Vendred Strines, Crawler Dendrite, Soldier Dragons, Lingery Start, Crawler Spawn, Temple of the Mind's Eye, this is it. No, <laughs> and an extra <laughs> I hate, I hate this. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Take care, stay safe, y'all know the drill. Keep safe.